in many ways, the financial decisions you make in your 20s are more crucial than those you make at any other point in your life. One of the most important things you can do as a young adult to prepare for your future is to invest. You'll be well on your way to saving for retirement, home ownership, or even future travel plans once you've set up your investing accounts. Many 20-something investors will only have a limited amount of money to invest, but you don't need thousands of dollars to begin with, a plan that will pay off handsomely over time. Also, if you like these types of videos, leave a comment below saying I subscribed and I will gratefully reply to you. And I'll be very happy if you also hit the like button for me and subscribe to this channel for more money related features so you'll be the first to be notified when I upload the next and never miss more videos. Number 1. Begin building an emergency fund. First and foremost, always start by putting money aside for an emergency. You'll not only ensure that you've covered in the event of an unforeseen expense, such as a job loss or natural disaster, but you'll also acquire the habit of contributing to a fund on a regular basis. How much money should you save aside? There's both mathematical answer and the emotional response, says Claire Beams, the financial planner at Rhinevest in Cincinnati. In terms of math, it equates to saving three to six months worth of fixed, continuous spending. But emotionally, that may not be enough to keep you awake at night. So it's a matter of finding the ideal response for you. Number two, determine your financial goals. Start investing about the goals you want to achieve by investing once you've started contributing to an emergency fund. At the end of the day, it's about prioritizing all of the experiences you want to have in your life. Some people may want to travel every year or buy a car in two years, and they may also want to retire at the age of 65. It's about putting together an investing strategy to ensure that such things are possible. Short-term goals such as travel will necessitate different accounts than long-term retirement plans. The most essential thing to remember in your 20s is to get into the habit of saving. Committing to a set savings rate and continuing to improve it year after year will have the largest impact early in your savings career to get you started. According to Ross Menke, a certified financial planner at Lindell Financial in Nashville, Tennessee. You ready to look at specific accounts once you've identified a set of goals and created the plan. Number 3. Participate in a company-sponsored retirement plan 20-somethings who start investing in a tax-advantaged retirement plan through their workplace can benefit from decades of compound interest returns. A 401k is the most common type of retirement plan. A 401k allows you to invest money before taxes and have it grow tax deferred until you withdraw it in retirement. Employee contributions are often matched up to a specific proportion by many firms. You always want to invest enough to at least receive that much because else you're just walking away with free money. Even if you can't immediately max out your 401k, starting small can add up over time. As your career improves and your income rises, make a plan to increase your contributions. The 401k calculator on bank rate can assist you in determining how much to contribute to your 401k in order to save enough money for retirement. Number 4. Create an Individual Retirement Account or IRA is another method to continue your long-term investment approach. Traditional and Roth IRAs are the two most common types of IRAs. Traditional RA contributions are similar to 401k. Contributions in that day are made before taxes and are not taxed until they are withdrawn. Contributions to Roth IRA, on the other hand, are made after taxes and eligible distributions are taxed free. In 2019, Investors under the age of 50 can contribute up to $6,000 to their IRAs. For 20-somethings, 
expert advocate a Roth IRA over a regular IRAs since they are more likely to be in a lower tax band than they will be when they retire. Menke does, however, advise investors of all ages to think about their own circumstances before making a decision. He explains, it all depends on when you want to pay the tax, when it's most acceptable for you, depending on your specific circumstances. Number 5. Choose a broker or robo-advisor who fulfills your requirements. Brokerage accounts are a wonderful alternative for longer-term goals that aren't always retirement-related, such as a down payment on a future home or your child's schooling bills. They're also more accessible than ever for young people starting out with little money. Many robo-advisors try to make things as simple as possible. With a little information about your goals and time horizon, the robo-advisors will create a portfolio that fits your needs and will rebalance it for you on a regular basis. Menka says, there are a lot of excellent options out there, and each of them has their own expertise. Look around for the one that matches your time frame and degree of participation. Number 6. Consider taking the advice of a financial advisor. A human financial advisor can also be a useful resource for new investors if you don't want to take the robo-advisor path. While it is the more expensive alternative, they will work with you to set goals, assess risk tolerance, and identify the finest brokerage accounts for your needs. They can also assist you in deciding where to invest the money in your retirement accounts. I don't believe investing should be exciting. I think it should be boring. Menke says, it shouldn't be seen as a form of entertainment because it is your life savings. Boring is okay sometimes. It's coming back to you what your time frame is and what your goal is. Number 7. Keep short-term savings in a convenient location. Store your short-term investments somewhere easily accessible and not subject to market changes, just like your emergency cash, which you may require at any time. High-yield savings accounts, CDs, and money market accounts are also good possibilities, though they won't earn as much as shares. If you need the money in a couple of years, you shouldn't put it in the stock market, Menke advises. It should be invested in more stable vehicles like a CD or money market, where you may give up some potential growth, but the return of your money is more important than a return on your money. Begin your investment journey by determining your short, intermediate, and long-term objectives, and then locating the accounts that best meet those requirements. Although your intentions may alter over time, starting a retirement account is one of the most significant things you can do for yourself in your 20s. Now is the time to start implementing these modifications. Early in life, Excellent decisions will have more time to compound in your favor and put you on the road to financial success. If you're interested in learning more about money management and how to earn money online, then be sure to check out my number one recommendation to earn money online without leaving your home at the first link in the description. If you're new here, consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you'll never miss more videos helping you how to save money fast, and many more. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.